Let's find the oxidation number for each element here in CaClO4 2. This is calcium perchlorate. So first off, we note there's no negative or positive after the compound here. That means it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. Next, when we look at the calcium, calcium's in group two on the periodic table. So it's going to be plus two. In ClO4, that's the perchlorate ion. You could memorize that the perchlorate ion has an ionic charge of one minus, and that would mean that the ion, all the numbers, the oxidation numbers, they add up to the charge on the ion. So all the oxidation numbers here would add up to minus one. That makes sense. Two times minus one, that's negative two, positive two, everything adds up to zero. If you want to figure out the chlorine, you have to do a little more work. Let's just look at the chlorate ion here to figure out chlorine. Because we know in an ion, all the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. So we could say we don't know what the chlorine is. Oxygen, that's going to be negative 2, with a few exceptions. For example, when it's in peroxides or bonded to fluorine. So we could say that X, that's the chlorine, minus 2 for the oxygen, and we have 4 of those, equals the charge on the ion which is that one minus, so we can say negative one here. Then we can solve for x, so x minus eight equals negative one. Let's add eight to both sides, so x is gonna equal a positive seven. So if we wanted to write the oxidation state for the chlorine here, that would be plus seven. But really to do this, you do need to know the charge on the perchlorate ion. That's something you memorize, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each element in CaClO4-2, calcium perchlorate. Thanks for watching.